Hey everyone, Steve here. How you doing? Hope everything is going well as 2021 draws to an end and hopefully um, COVID and all things related COVID is tapering off where you are and hopefully you and all around you have been unaffected. So tonight, I uh, happen to be, uh, as I have termed it, putzing around the trailer. Uh, I didn't have to be at a job site tonight. So with that, I thought, why not shoot a video and maybe pose the question, you know, what do you carry in your tool belt? What do you carry in your tool belt? Um, now, if you have a vest, it's different. And I'm looking at one of those Atlas 46 vests, I think, or something comparable to that. Um, I like the idea. And honestly, it reminds me of being in the military uh, because we would have our kit, you know, literally, you know, strapped to a vest. And uh, oftentimes that vest was your uh, Kevlar uh, bulletproof. But we also had like a net, like a web, uh, like a web vest as well uh, that could go over top of that. Although, you know, so you start layering like that and you became very bulky. But the idea was you had it on your person as opposed to something else you attached like a tool belt. But for right now, tool belt. And I was wondering, you know, what do other people carry in their tool belt? I know what my buddy carries and it's like hardly anything in his tool belt. Um, I don't know how he does it. Actually, I think I know how he does it because I end up carrying everything. And then he says, hey, do you have a... And the answer is almost always yes. And I think I've trained him to do that. So he, he shows up with a pencil, a tool belt, and some screws. And then he's like, hey, do you have a... Yes, I do. Uh, and I have three of them. <laughs> and I used to carry them in my tool belt. Now, one is in my tool belt, and another one or two or three is in that beautiful trailer that I have. So, thank you. So what do you carry? I don't know. I'm going to show you what I just literally grabbed it right out of the back of the trailer. I brought it out here to my uh, Polk semi-compact workbench. And I'm just going to spread it all out because I'm kind of interested. Plus, I get to clean out my tool belt and film it at the same time. So what do I carry? I'll show you. This is literally from my last job site. I just dropped it and picked it up again. Let's see what I've got. Okay, what do I have? 20-ounce S-Wing hammer. Um, I've had this uh, probably since 1990. I had a newer hammer, but I believe I lost it in one of the uh, stud pockets of my new addition on my house. So it is <laughs> permanently stored there. I have to get a new hammer, though. This one is really, really beat up. 25-foot um, tape measure. Four-in-one screwdriver. Uh, six and one actually, because uh, you can use this as a nut driver, and it's two different size nut drivers. A pair of tin snips that I've had for a long, long time. They always it's it's an everyday carry. Old pair of linesmen's, and these linesmen's have uh, certainly bit through a live wire or two, and that's why they are retired to the construction belt. And I have, of course, a new pair, a newer pair that's not burned up uh, for my electrical belt. Bullnose. This pair of bullnose is my dad's, and so these things uh, certainly predate 1979. That's when he passed away. And carry them with me everywhere. I uh, painted them several times, and it looks like they need to be painted again. One inch chisel. Really thin flat bar. Love these things. They double as a scraper, but one inch flat bar uh, or a uh, super thin flat bar. This thing actually uh, lost it in the lake when I was doing that dock job uh, some uh, about two years ago. And at the end of the job, uh, the guys that were working on the rest of the property were out and they were throwing the magnet around trying to get a hammer that they had. I don't know. And they found this. So this actually came out of the lake. It had been in the lake. Oh, I don't know, maybe a month. So they pulled it out. I sandblasted it down, repainted it. <laughs> love it. I love a tool with a story. Another flat bar. Set of uh, wire cutters, wire nips, dikes. That very thin flat bar. A couple of pencils. A couple of more pencils. Oh, just found a punch. One of those very, very thin punches as you can see love these things but yet over here 
in this pouch. I always carry with me two punches, one narrow, one wide, and then these really fat punches. Looks like this one is rusted out a little bit, so apparently my build has gotten wet recently, and so that's good to know. So I'll have to hit that with a little sandpaper and repaint it. Uh, utility knife, of course. Bit kit, uh, just with a lot of drivers. Electrical tape. Nut driver. Extra driver. And this is just some random stuff that ends up getting in the belt. Extra screws and garbage and such like that. Is there anything else in here? Okay, so that's the main pouch right there. Um, I do have in that little uh, area up there, I have a set of Allen keys. I believe these are the standard size Allen keys. Now on the other side of my belt, if I move, switch this around, this is typically the screw pocket. But up here, I do also have... Allen keys, and this would be the metric set. Speed square. Extra pair of glasses, because I'm getting old and can't see anymore. Jersey gloves. Extra pair of jersey gloves, because I think I was doing a demo at some point. I uh, thought I had lost this, but the extra uh, utility knife, this is not an everyday carry. I already have one. I don't need two. So this came out of my trailer when I thought I lost that one. So this one will go back. Oh, a Sharpie marker. And typically I will carry in the big pouch, uh, I'm going to carry 16, so just a few 16 penny nails. And typically I'll throw in, because I can easily sort them out, a few three-inch drywall screws. Oh, this is not an everyday carry. It's just Teflon tape for some plumbing. So apparently I was doing some plumbing last time. Typically in the front pouch, I will carry, unless I know I'm going to need something different, I'll carry uh, inch and a f inch and five-eighths drywall screws. And inch and five eighths drywall screws there as well. So typically I'll put three inches, a three inch and a two and an inch and five eighths in these two pockets. I'll have my uh, 16 penny nails in here. Not a lot, not in quantity, but just a few for whatever I need. And then I'll just exchange that out as necessary. So that's my tool belt. This is everything that I carry typically on any kind of a job. Um, it doesn't vary too much, but I do add to it. So instead of having one chisel, I may have two or three different chisels. So uh, from a one inch, I may have a three quarter or a half inch and a one quarter. But beyond that, this is, this is the tool belt right here. So what do you carry? I don't know. It's, ah, it's, it's about 30 degrees out here. It's, uh, it's kind of chilly. Uh, so that's my tool belt. Uh, that's typically what I carry uh, when I go into a job. Now, I'll outfit it with extra sometimes, a few extra tools, uh, maybe like a, a siding zip tool. Uh, cat's paw. I mean, obviously, you run, you can run the gambit of all kinds of hand tools, and, and they might make it. But this is typically what I'm going to show up with, and what I have here, I can typically do a lot of things with. Uh, of course, I have to co complement that with some power tools, you know, drill, driver, impact driver, uh, and all of that. But there's my tool belt. So I guess the question is, if this is what I carry, what do you carry? Uh, that's different, I guess. If you're carrying the same stuff, great. But do you carry something different? Do you carry something that's really useful that I have somehow missed out on? That would be cool to know. So um, I'm, I, I'm not necessarily, hey, if you want to subscribe, wherever you know, wherever you subscribe, subscribe. Ah, yeah. Um, it'd be cool if I could get to a thousand. I've never, you know, a thousand people that would subscribe. That's really cool. But other than that, leave a comment. And uh, let me know if you carry anything different that would be really handy, and I'll look into it. Um, I'm always looking for ideas, and I'm a teacher, and I steal ideas. I have never had an original idea in my life, I think, except marrying my wife. That was the, if you can only have one idea, and it's got to be a really good, big, super fantastic idea, I had one. 
And that's the day I figured out to marry my wife. She's up there in the house, so that's why I'm pointing that way. <laughs> and so I've had one really good one. Everything else I've stolen, and I've stolen from you. And I want to steal more. So leave comments. Leave comments. And subscribe. What the hell? Please subscribe. Okay. Um, now i got to put this all away, and I'm kind of getting cold. <laughs> okay. Hey, take care, YouTube. And... Uh, Take care. I've got no better ending. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Still a goofball. After all these years, still a goofball. And I love it. I might form a club. <laughs>